Hey guys, welcome back. Today, let's learn what is motion study and how to use it. And what are the different types of joints that can be used in this tutorial and how to use them. For making the model, we require three components. One is the disc, other is the pendulum, the other one is the ring that is attached to the pendulum on the other side. Let's start with the pendulum. Let me choose a plane. Any plane would do. Okay, now we need to make the pendulum. So we need to draw a line to make the base of the pendulum. Let it be 30. And 30 on the other side. So the symmetry point should be passing through the axis. And then let the height be 50. The thread of the pendulum should be drawn. So the thread radius is 0.2 mm. So let's draw 0.2 mm on one side and then 0.2 on the other side. Now let's join the edges or the points. Now that we have joined the points, let's give a length for the thread. The height would be 120 on one side and 120 on the other side. We can also mirror, we can also make one half of the pendulum and mirror it. As we need to offset it, we are making the whole pendulum. You'll understand why. Now that the height of 120 is given, let's offset the pendulum. Let's offset it to about 5. Now let's draw these two lines. If we don't draw these two lines and use a trim command, the offset will be trimmed. So we just need to trim the part of the offset that is not required. So after drawing these two lines, let's use the trim command or use tree, use T, trim all these lines. Okay, that line won't get trimmed because it has dimensions attached to it. We need to delete the dimensions and then trim the line. Let's choose the height that's 50. Okay, there it goes. Yeah. 50. <coughs> Another 50. Let's delete the dimensions. Let's join the lines. Let's draw a hexagon. What you see over here is just a pattern in the circle that should be carved out. So for making that, we need to draw a hexagon. We let join these two. We click on these two points. There goes a hexagon. With 60 as a side and it has six sides. After this, we need to draw, we need to use pattern after that. So we click on these lines. Once they are done, click on the center point. Okay, we'll choose six. Our hexagon has six sides. And we appropriate for the pendulum to swing. Now let's draw a circle, having the height there. Okay, let's trim off the parts so that the pattern can be visible. There we go, one, two. Three, four, five, and at last six, and those small lines also. There we go. All done. Now let's stop sketch and start extruding it. Let's click on extrude. Click on all those parts required. Click on five. Let be your symmetry. Okay, a new body will be created. Now let's go to sketch and click on the bulb over there. There is our pendulum. Let's revolve the pendulum. Let's click on those two sides and then the axis. Here it goes. There's a the pendulum. All done. Now after drawing the pendulum, we need to make a ring for that so that it revolves in the right direction. So let's choose a um, circle. Let's use a plane before that. 
there we'll choose our plane no circle circle with any diameter will be fine i'll take 10 over here okay we'll make another small circle with 9 as the diameter let's finish sketch stop sketch and let's extrude it extrude it by one oh, that's fine now we'll have to make a hole in the ring or the circle so that the thread of the pendulum passes through it for that i need to make a surface so i went to construction and clicked on tangent plane let's click on the circle then let's choose the plane let's choose the bottom half of the plane i mean it can be anywhere as it's symmetry i'll be choosing the bottom half let's choose the plane and let's start sketching with a circle mm, the diameter of the circle will be 0.4 as one side of the thread was 0.2 there we go with 0.4 yeah done <coughs> Let's extrude that so that we get a hole. The operation is cut. Now that this is done, let's make another hole over there in the center. As it's not showing us the center point, let's draw two lines and the intersection will be the center point. Let's go to circle, choose us what do we need. Center axis. What is this even called? Basically, the axis was required. You'll come to understanding why that was done. Now, let's select the body, make it a component. Right click component. Let's name it as main disk. Let's make this a component and name it as pendulum. And let the third body be made as a component and name it as ring. Now let's choose joint. Let's click on the first component over there and over there. Oh, we don't need this operation we need a rigid operation I can either undo it or click on that line over there and click on edit so that I can now um, so that I can choose a different operation now let's click on that click on rigid and there it goes that's fine Now let's choose the center of axis. Let's access through the cylinder or circle. Okay, they've extended as pill joint is being used. So that would actually oscillate. So we choose that. Yeah, but this is not the right axis of oscillation. It would be y axis, x axis. Yeah. There we go. We need to toss it like that. Now let's choose the axis over here. Let's extend the axis and let's give it an operation of as built joint with the revolve operation. Let's give it a revolve operation using as built joint. Click on that. Click on the center over there. Oh, it's not revolving the right Z axis. Yeah, that's fine. We need to revolve like that. Now oh, it's perfect. Now that all these joints have been used, let's give it some color. That's called appearance. Right click and there goes appearance. Let's choose some nice color red. Hmm. Which red? This red? Not so satisfying. Let me see. Ah, this is fine. Let's use yellow. 
sorry for the spelling mistake there it goes yeah that's that's nice let's go to assembly and then choose motion study there we go now let's choose select that and that let's click on the 20 steps 45 degrees okay let the pendulum come back 0 degrees let the pendulum again also towards the left side that would be minus 45 degrees at 60 steps then again let the pendulum come back to its original position that's 0 let this be 30 let be 60 let go with an increment of 30 yeah. 16 90 with 60 steps then it goes to 120 this is enough for now we can loop it using the loop option let's decrease the speed loop option play there we go oops let me go back not there where is that yeah motion study right click edit sketch or edit let me give you a few key points about using joints and as built joints when do we use joints when we're giving properties between two components we use joints like the ring and the pendulum string we give rigid over there so that's where we use joints and where do we use as built joints when we're giving a property for a single component like we used revolve for the main disk that's where we used as built joints so let's remember that two components joints a single component it will be as built joint thank you for watching the video